Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making slow cooker chili. Oh, we'll have a whole lot of fun. This is so good. Mm. Hey Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are back in my outdoor camper kitchen at Camp Ludacris, and we have the one, the only, ta-da, Mikey Goose. Hello everybody. We are going to be making slow cooker chili, and it is actually a recipe submitted by one of our readers, Julie. Thank you, Julie. Hi, this Julie. Thank awesome. you very much for contributing. This has actually become my favorite chili recipe. Like, it is so good because it has a secret ingredient. And so, what is that secret ingredient? Is it jalapenos? No. It's refried beans. Oh. It oh. adds like a level of texture to like, and like I'm a texture person and like some textures I don't like, but this just like, it adds texture, it adds flavor, it's, it's just awesome. So what else are you going to need? You're going to need a thing of tomato paste, um, like a little can, and then um, two cans of chili pap, two ch chili beans. Oh my goodness. Wait. Chili beans? Chili beans. Chili beans. Oh, what? Don't spill it. Chili beans. Because in some parts of the country, we put beans in our chili. <gasps> okay. If you don't put beans in your chili, we still love you. He's but if just you want to put, I think it's the northeastern part of the country, they put macaroni in their chili, some kind of a pasta. Well, some people and, do spaghetti. And us here in our, I, I don't know, we're not really If Midwest, you come towards the Midwest, we we slide the beans in. Where I grew up, it was beans and, and macaroni. macaroni. Same here. If you go some other places, they, like Ohio is big for putting spaghetti in their chili, if you've ever had like a Skyline chili. If you slide down towards, more towards the Southwest, when you slide down towards the Southwest, you gotta slide back in your accent a little bit too, kinda lay up on your heels. And then you get what's called Texas chili, which is meat in broth. And they call that chili. Chili is what you wanna make it, and today we're making, we're making Aunt Lou's favorite chili. We're making Julie chili. Julie! It's awesome! Julie chili. I tell you what, if she wasn't honored before, you just got it. You just got your own chili named after you, Julie. Julie Chili. Julie Chili. Um, and it sounds, it's really fun to say. It is. Julie, Julie Chili. Say that five times fast. <laughs> Whoa. That was noisy. Try not to break your um, lid when you take it off your crock pot. Oh, I didn't finish the ingredients. You By also way, need... Sorry, I interrupted. Go ahead. Hey, what is that over there? It's tomato juice. So we're also going to add some chili powder, some cumin, and just a dash of crushed red pepper flakes because I can't handle heat and I want to eat this. So we're just going to add a little bit. And I will you, be adding those. If, if you want some more heat, dash in some more of that uh, uh -huh. chili powder, or uh, what do you say, chili powder? Uh, uh, you got chili, chili powder, powder and, cumin and crushed, crushed red, red, red pepper. pepper. More crushed red pepper, maybe some jalapenos. Some people do habaneros in theirs because y'all are crazy. Not me. No, no, me neither. <laughs> um, and we also have a pound and a half of ground beef with um, the diced onion in it. And so I already made this up yesterday because I needed to make up some ground beef yesterday. So why not make it all up at the same time? Which reminds me, and I'll put the link down below if you like have a, you know, because a lot of times you're not going to use all of the ground beef that you buy at one time. But if you do the make ahead ground beef, then I'll put the link in down Ooh, below. Then you got it in your freezer, it's ready to go. Ta-da! Ta-da! Makes, like, prep super easy. So, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Put it in there. All of it. Not the containers. Oh. Done! Okay, next. Oh, okay. Here. Take a spoon. <laughs> I like this. I get to boss him around. That doesn't happen very often. That's, that's usually that's, Chrissy's job. That's two sisters that now boss me around, y'all. <laughs> hmm. You got a spatula? You don't have a spatula. I should have grabbed a spatula. Don't use your fingers. You don't want to cut your finger on the on the lid or on the can. While you're doing that, I'm gonna throw in the beans. This is the gonna give Jimmy it a beans. really a really thick consistency with those yes, refried beans. It, I love that. It, it makes it really yummy. Velvety, maybe? Because Yes, green, that's the word. See, he's beans. the word person. I just make it, eat it, and say, mmm. I'm a walking thesaurus. 
<laughs> oh wait, that's never mind. Okay, use your spoon and get oh. the tomato paste in. All right. Okay, now speaking of thickness, the container of tomato juice that I could get is not 32 ounces like the um, recipe calls for. It is 46. If you have this, you can just use approximately 32 ounces, or you can use the whole thing if you want um, a soupier chili. Totally up to you. How big's your family? Because if you use more tomato juice, it's going to go a little further. And so... Ooh, tomato juice, tomato paste, it's going to be matery. Mater. I love okay. tomato paste. Now, we need... Let's see. Make sure I get these right. Chili powder. We need two teaspoons. And it doesn't... <laughs> You guys, here, let's get over there though, because when you pull that, it's going to go. There we go, good oh, job. If only it would do that. One on teaspoon. You. That's not nice. That, that was loud. It is loud. Two. And then, right it's all good. And then we need. Crushed red pepper flakes, okay, just take the just, lid off. Just and a little how, bit. Well, you got to take the lid off because there's a, there's a thing there stopping me. You want, how much do you want? That's fresh crushed red pepper. How much? Uh, Teeny tiny bit. Like uh, a dash? If you will, or a pinch. A pinch. A pinch. Oh. So I'm gonna show y'all a trick up there. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I'm just. Gonna my mama, to God rest her soul. She used to show me her hand like this, and she could actually show me in her hand. She would say, "This right down there in the bottom is a pinch. If you fill it up just a little bit further." Or no, a dash is in the bottom, and then just a little bit further is a pinch, and then she could actually measure out, measure out a teaspoon and a tablespoon. She couldn't do a cup because she had small hands. But anyway, we're going to do that's more than a dash. So I'm going to put not that right. That's more than a pinch. So I'm going to put just a little bit less than that in there. I just thought that was a cool story. So crushed red pepper flakes. See, that's just a wee bit too much. I'd say. Yeah. Okay, that's good. That's good, right? There. Okay, yep. The rest well, of it? Uh, put it in there. Cause yeah, that'd be bad for we, the dogs. We have puppies walking around, and I don't want my little lab to turn into a fire breathing lab. No. All right, so I will let you determine how much juice you have the power, Mikey. I Use do. it wisely. Yeah, that's right, because I got the juice. All right, so you want 32 ounces? Sure. Of the 46. Can okay. you do it? Well, let's do this. 46 divided by 2 is 23, so 23 is right there, so 32 is right there. Not too much. Close enough for me. Alright, now we're going to stir. Alright, we've already done the cumin and the, and the spices. Yeah, we got it all. all right. We just got to stir it together. Make sure we get all that bean Yep, get all the beans kind of mixed in. You just want it to, so there's not like big clumps of tomato paste mm. or big clumps of um, refried beans or something. Oh, my family just returned from playing in the creek, and so I've got a wet dog beside me. Oh, wow. The gravel you're hearing, that's wet kids and husband. Ooh, that, those beans, well. yeah, those beans are just really... It you know, it I know, I know, y'all can't see this because we've only got one camera set up. So he got. But luckily, the video editor can do this. He's trying to figure out how to operate his phone. But I'll do this right here. I'll take a little video and show y'all how thick that is. Did you start recording yet? I did not. <laughs> I didn't think you did. Well, that's been a At while. At least the video editor. So I'll hit the record button, and you can see. Just how thick. That's with about 32 ounces. If you want to make that a little bit thinner, if you like it a little more soupy, I put the whole thing of that in there. What do you? I mean, it's up to you. It's your, um, it's your favorite chili, so I don't want to mess I, it up for you. I like it with the 32 ounces because as it heats up, all the liquid and everything else kind of like makes it a Coming little bit the, the more beans soupy. And the meat, yeah. But um, but yeah. So let's just try okay. it from here, and we'll see what we have at the end. Well, we are stirred up. So now what? We're going to cover and cook on low for four hours or high for two hours. And if you know, which I do know that this one cooks hot, um, then you'll want to like just stir it once or twice during so that out like everything's getting heated and melded together the same. Yes. And so, oh no. Okay, here, look, 
Mikey provided an I am helping lesson. you for a teaching lesson. You, if you have one that has like a travel lid, you do not clamp it down whenever you're cooking. Mm -hmm. you're, no, no, no. No. But you clamp it down whenever it's unplugged and you're taking it somewhere. Which is what I was doing. I don't know that I worked it right though. He, he did. And that is not how you do that either. Okay, so we're going to take this inside and we will be back in three, two, and we're back. Ta-da! And so we kind of got a late start on this. So we did two hours on high and I start it once. Oh. Doesn't that smell good? And so we're going to start again and see oh, how... See, now this is where I'm going to I'm gonna bring out secondary I'm camera. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to, I'm going to. I'm going to, I'm going to. Do, 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 do. All right, video and but see where it it is. got soupy. Is has yeah. a lot more liquid to yeah. the texture. I like and that's everything. my consistency right there. I like that. And so, um, what Mikey didn't catch before was there was a lot of liquid kind of sitting on top, and then I just stirred it in to get us this consistency. That smells so, fantastic. You can that's have good. the first bite. Yay! I'll wait on you though. I'm a gentleman. I think it's just because it's hot and yeah. you don't want to burn it your is. mouth. That's already burned the bottom of my, or the hand with the bottom of the Chivalry bowl. has nothing to do with it. Mm -mm. Wait. Cheers. Mm. Hot. That's hot. By the way, we're taping this on a Sunday, but you'd be confused because it's windy. Oh my goodness, that is good. Yeah, okay. It's, okay, doesn't that add a level of flavor and texture? The refried beans mixed up in there and heated up, it does give it more beany flavor for those that like beans in their chili. But then also, it does, it adds a velvet texture to it. So, it's good. I mean, like, it, you're it's getting really your good. chew from the beef and a little bit from the chili beans, but then you get this velvety goodness on the back of your tongue. Oh. Yep, go show them. Go show it. Come. Quit hogging it all. Hello. Now I'm just mooning my sister-in-law. That's cool. This, if I come back a little bit, this is so good. Mm. Hard for me to do this tilt in a bowl, but look at that. It's hearty, it's thick, but still soupy. It's just, it's good chili. That is really, really good. And the red pepper flakes, the amount that I put in there, it adds just a little bit of heat, but not a lot. Where did Lou go? There she yeah, is. It's not, it's not so much heat that I can't eat it because mm. I can't eat spicy things. It makes me cry. Okay. If I was going to change anything up, I would add just a little bit of salt to it. Oh, but that's a, oops. That's but that's just a redneck thing. Is salt to taste. My bad. I do it at the end, though. That way, if some people want more salt, they can have it. Again, you don't want to over-salt, over-season things at the beginning. You can always put it to your taste at the end. Mm -hmm. But that is really, really good. Oh, by the way, we've had a lot of uh, uh, questions here lately of, hey, where's Mike and Chris? Well, we've answered the question. Here's Mike. We've been camping. I've been working on the whole music thing, been songwriting, work on album number two. If you haven't heard album number one, uh, looks like this on Spotify, and iTunes, stuff no, like that. But also, um, we've just kind of been hanging out, enjoying the summer, enjoying the fall. A lot of stuff has been going on. But I can tell you that we are okay. Well, I'm okay, but I'm going to let Chris speak for herself. Here she is. Say hi, Chris. Hi, Chris. There you go. See? We're fine. Aunt Lou's doing a good job, though, isn't she? Especially with this chili. Y'all, it's getting cold outside. Make that. Perfect. You don't like the beans in your chili? Omit the beans. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up down below. If you haven't become a member of our Crock Posse family, hit the subscribe button down below. Everything's below. Have you ever noticed that? And if you haven't... Well, that's YouTube's fault. They won't put it above. I, I know. We could like point different directions instead of always down. Yeah. If you would like to know every single time we post a video, hit the button called the... Bing on it. And no matter what you do, laugh often. Eat good food! Speak live. Bye, guys. Bye, y'all. Good job. Peace.
Chili's ready. Chili's ready. You cut my head off. I did not. Look. <laughs> You're not that tall. You cut my head off. Look. Do I need to change the shot? Look at the. Flip it back. <laughs> you suck. Okay. Three, two. Hey, Hi, Carl. welcome. Oh, this is you. my show, boy. Oh, oh. <laughs> that one's taking over. <laughs> If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny enough to send us money, click the